Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video and today I'm going to show you how to upload your website on the internet with the Adobe Dreamweaver. So the first thing that I want you to do now is to open your Dreamweaver software and then follow these simple steps. So here the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, to go to the site place or first make sure that you have your sites that have are created so you have some HTML code uh, and CSS etc and then you will need to go to sites now you will need to go to manage sites and you will need to have a site here so if you don't know already you do not have already created one you will need just to click on new site and then uh, you just name it uh, however you want you go to the folder where you uh, have uh, created it and here uh, the most important part uh, now we click on add a new server so we can import this uh, website to a server in the internet so it can be uploaded so basically you will uh, probably have like uh, a hosting service so you will need just to choose to ftp and then you will need to add the ftp address of uh, your uh, web hosting service it can be like the bluehost hostinger it can be godaddy whatever was like the hosting service that you are using you will need just to add uh, its address and then you will add your username of uh, the service where you are using your service and you will add your password then you will have like a directory or a file or uh, for the ftp uh, server uh, the, for the FTP service and you will find it in your uh, FTP uh, informations in your uh, hosting service and then you will add its URL and then you will click save in my case I will just add a local server so I can just show you so uh, as I said I have a local server so I'm just going to search for my uh, local server folder and search for it and then I'm going to choose my file. So htdocs, I'm going just to search for my server. And here it is my, well, let's add a folder for my website, site for example. And I'm going to select this folder and click here. And for example, select folder here, uh, save. This is my server and I will need to uh, change the website folder uh, saving so I'm going to search for my local server so my uh, data will be stored there so we'll go to the same place as before in my case and I'll go like that search for htdocs and here I'm going to choose my site folder now we click on ok we save and done i'm going just to use this one and done and the last step that you will need to do is to go to your site or for example here and then uh, if you don't find like this toolbar or menu either you will find it here click on file or search for it in the windows in the file menu and click on it and you will have exactly as this toolbar you go to the to the server that you have just uh, created or the sites that you have just created you just put files here you click on put files and it will tell you are you sure in case that you have already chosen uh, ftp it will tell you if you want dependencies or to depend uh, the files with it uh, in case that you have images or icons on your website and then you will just click yes and then OK and it will uh, just download uh, the website there and when you will go to your uh, domain URL because you will be uh, connecting your website with the domain name you will find your uh, website that will run in your browser so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time